here all i would like to welcome you all in the playlist of basic electrical engineering laboratory in this video i am going to discuss probable viva was questions and answers from the experiment namely measurement of line and phase quantities of star and delta connector system i have already prepared the demonstration video and which is already available in the playlist for understanding the concept of the conduction of this particular experiment kindly watch that particular video later you can come back to the viva moving on to the discussion as you can able to observe these are the various questions which you can expect for your viva let us begin the discussion begin with the discussion what is the difference between line voltage and phase voltage for example i'll be showing you so line voltage is nothing but the voltage between any two lines so consider a three phase circuit like this i am representing by using four wires r y b and neutral suppose if the voltage between r and y you call it as line voltage or you can write it as voltage across y and b or you can represent voltage between b and r these are called line voltages let me write line voltage how about phase voltage so please refer the same diagram you can write vrn then vyn and vbn that means voltage across a line and a neutral that is called phase voltage okay most of the students are having some confusion regarding this kindly rectify at the earliest this will be helpful for conducting the experiment also you should understand what is the difference between line voltage and phase voltage moving further question number 2 which type of three phase connection is suitable for high voltage and low current application the right answer is star connection fine one more question i can expect what type of connection is suitable for high current and low voltage application the right answer is opposite that is delta connection you know three phase connections are divided into two one is star connection another one is delta connection hope it is very clear to you third question dash connection is known as three phase three wire system the right answer is delta what about star see i already marked the star connection in case of star connection it is also known as three phase four wire system three phase four wire kindly note down this fine let us go ahead question number 4 what are the relationship between line and phase quantities in star connection in case of star connection the line current will be always equal to phase current note down this point similarly the line voltage can be written as root 3 times phase voltage this is a condition for star connection okay next is how does three phase induction motor work three phase induction motors work based on the principle of faraday's law okay faraday law of electromagnetic induction induction principle faraday's law of electromagnetic induction if you want you can add a few more sentence induction motor will have two major component one is called stator another we can write it as s stator another component is called rotor a three phase supply is given to the stator correct stator is made up of the stator winding then there is a production of rotating magnetic field that means group of magnetic lines of force or magnetic flux will be produced it is having just like a rotating magnetic field structure the rotating magnetic field is interacting with the rotor thereby 
and induced EMF is produced at the throttle. This induced EMF will be held responsible for the movement. So the electrical energy is going to convert into converted into mechanical energy by using the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Induction motor is also known as a rotating transformer, just like an idiom. You can remember, just like a you can say, like, just like an idiom. So these are the few questions which you have to answer well. Only brief points are sufficient. No need to go for in an elaborated manner because it's a viva voce session. Correct. Yeah. Moving further. How does three phase synchronous generator work? Three phase synchronous generator is also known as alternator, or you can call it as AC generator. By the way, AC generator will be having the rotor, correct rotor with a suitable winding, and a separate DC excitation will be given for the rotor. A DC excitation is required. Okay, a DC excitation. Also, it is connected with the prime mover. Also, a prime mover. It will be linked with a prime mover. Prime mover. It is a mechanical device. Using the prime mover, the rotor is going to operate. Rotor is going to rotate using the prime mover. Also, you are providing an excitation, DC excitation. Then we have the stator. Okay, stator with a suitable winding. Stator is made up of with a suitable stator winding. Like this, you can mark. Because of rotor is rotating with a certain speed, a, rot a magnetic field which is having rotating nature, rotative magnetic field is generated. The rotative magnetic field is interacting with the, the stator conductor. Okay, as a result, as a result, we can say that an induced EMF that is generated at the stator. Induced EMF in the form three phase supply. A three phase voltage is generated at the stator. So mechanical energy is going to convert into electrical energy. You can say uh, alternator is also working based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Correct. What do you mean by slip? Slip is nothing but it is the ratio of difference between synchronous speed and the rotor speed to the synchronous speed. It is usually expressed in terms of percentage. Question number eight, dash device is known as mechanical rectifier. See, in DC generator, a device called commutator, that is known as mechanical rectifier. The commutator converts the variable voltage and current into direct voltage and current. That is why it is known as mechanical rectifier. It's important. In a, we can call it just like an idiom. Likewise, I told one more question. Dash device is known as rotating transformer. The right answer is induction motor. What is the relationship between stator frequency and the rotor frequency? Okay. So rotor frequency is nothing but rotor frequency. S into stator frequency. Okay. S is nothing but slip. F is the stator frequency. So F dash. F dash can be written as S into F, where F dash is known as rotor frequency. What is the concept of rotative magnetic field? As soon as you provide three phase supply over stator winding or the stator part, a rotative magnetic field is produced. The resultant value of rotative magnetic field is almost 1.5 times of the maximum magnitude of flux. Whatever the rotative magnetic field is produced, that is going to interact with the rotor. As a result, an EMF is produced. That point you have to remember. So this is actually the value of rotative magnetic field. This rotative magnetic field is held responsible for generation of EMF at the ro rotor side. 
what is synchronous speed of induction motor you know synchronous speed is actually it's not an actual speed so synchronous speed is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic field it is given by 120 f by p where f is the supply frequency and p is the number of poles write down the emf equation of three phase alternator so we can write emf equation is given by 4.44 f into phi into phi m into t phase also you have to write two constant one is kp another is kd where kp is called the pitch factor kd is known as distribution factor okay this is called the emf equation of a three phase alternator also you may be asked with one more question what is the relationship between line quantities and phase quantities in delta connection for delta connection you can write the line line voltage in delta connection line voltage will be always equal to phase voltage in delta okay also the line current will be equal to root 3 times phase current this is very important in case of delta connection so delta connection is also known as three phase three wire system okay so these are the probable questions you can expect in case of this particular experiment there are few more questions you can refer any of the textbooks and recall all the information and uh, the basic electrical theory also uh, really helpful for answering those question make your uh, fundamentals strong uh, if you are having any queries you can ask with me thank you for your continuous support uh, let me conclude thanks again